Oh, what a gay day, oh, what a gay day. Sing out and you'll stay, what a gay day. Oh, what a gay day, oh, what a gay day. Clap hands and you'll say, what a gay day. I heard Bill Smith, my neighbor, come home the other night. Knew by his wife shouting that he was very tight. As she hit him with the frying pan, I dashed into the fray. And as I picked him off the floor, I heard him quietly say, Oh, what a gay day, oh, what a gay day. Sing out and you'll say, what a gay day. Oh, what a gay day, oh, what a gay day. Clap hands and you'll say, what a gay day. His wife's a learner driver, they've got a brand new car. He took her down a country lane, she skidded on some tar. Went through a hedge into a field and through a stack of hay. They landed in a duck pond and Fred was heard to say, Oh, what a gay day, oh, what a gay day. Sing out and you'll say, what a gay day. Oh, what a gay day, oh, what a gay day. Clap hands and you'll say, what a gay day. Well, that's my little story, and I hope I've cheered you up. If things are looking miserable, there's no need to give up. There's lots of other people as miserable as sin. So put a smile upon your face and come on now, let's sing. Oh, what a gay day, oh, what a gay day. Sing out and you'll say, what a gay day. Is more than a friend to me. My friend Everard is all that a friend should be. When I was laid up with my bad knee, who came round and read a book to me? Yes, my friend Everard is more than a friend. To me, my friend Everard is more than a friend to me. My friend Everard is all that a friend should be. He's my buddy, my pal, my chum. He's my brother. My dad, my mum, yes, my friend Everard is more than a friend to me. When winter comes and warm summer nights have gone, he comes knocking at my door when the kettle's on. He loves his cocoa. We get out the album of photographs, thousand memories, thousand laughs. Yes, my friend Everard is more than a friend to me. As the years go by, life turns another page. We take. Things steady, cause we're both at a funny age. We don't go out on the tandem now, not with my legs, we don't. It seems such a long time since first we met. Had ups and downs and tips, and yet, my friend Everard been more than a friend to me. He's all that a friend. Could be. Oh yes, he's a nice lad. I shout at him sometimes, you know, but he's not bad really. He's here now. There he is on his bicycle, taking his clips off. He's coming in. He'll be here to have a cup of tea, a bit of fairy cake. 
He loves his fairy cake. Sometimes a ginger biscuit as well. Come on, Everard. Here is a tale of a boy and a girl strolling along in the shade. He was a marquis, the son of an earl. She was a pure village maid. He told her that he loved her again and again. She thought he was loyal and true. And then came the night when he gave her champagne. And he did what he ought not to do. Only a glass of champagne. But it led that poor girl into sin. It was only a glass of champagne. T'was the door where the devil crept in. It's the old, old story. It's always the same. Just like a poor moth, she flew to near the flame. She opened her wings and she lost her good name. <laughs> All through a glass of champagne It was only one glass of champagne But it led that poor girl into sin It was only one glass of champagne T'was the door where the devil crept in She lost her honor Through sorrow and through shame With her false lover She pleaded in vain and by the next morning, she'd lost it again. All through a glass of champagne. Now think of her future, the sorrow, the shame. She was neither a maid or a wife. Think of her parents who gave her a name that she has dishonored for life. What's to become of her spurned and reviled into oblivion that go as hell? And what can she offer her fatherless child that she has brought in to the world? Only one glass of champagne, but it led that poor girl into sin. It was only one glass of champagne, t'was the door where the devil crept in. So all you young maidens, take warning from her that if you go out with a lord or a sir, be careful you don't let the same thing occur. All through a glass of champagne. Oh, the poor girl, I do feel sorry for her. Still, there you are. You make your own way. She'll live and learn. Hmm, well, hey-ho. Father has a business, strictly second-hand. Everything from toothpicks to a baby grand. Stuff in our apartment, it came from father's store. Even things I'm wearing, someone wore before. It's no wonder that I feel abused. I never have a thing that ain't been used I'm wearing second-hand hats Second-hand clothes That's why they call me Second-hand rose Even my piano in the parlor Father bought for ten cents on the door Second hand pearls I'm wearing second hand curls I never get a single thing that's new Even Jake the plumber is the man I adore I have the nerve to tell me he's been married before Everyone knows that I'm just second hand rose from Second Avenue I'm wearing second-hand shoes Second-hand hose All the girls hand me their second-hand bows Even my 
pajamas when I don them And somebody else's initial on them Second-hand rings, I'm sick of second-hand things I never get what other girlies do Once while strolling through the Ritz A girl got my goat She nudged her friend and said Oh look, there's my old fur coat Everyone knows that I'm just second-hand rose From Second Avenue From Second Avenue Can't think why I'm doing this song My name's not Rose at all Oh well The things I lost this year Would fill Aladdin's cave I'll do whatever I'd said Keep smiling, just be brave I've lost a powder puff or two A going away case that was new And my swizzle stick just disappeared today When I mix my rum and ginger I'll just stir it with my finger Woe is me, woe is me I've lost my hockey stick and shorts Also my book of games and sports And my tennis racket's lost a string or two And the day I lose my javelin I'll pack up and I'll go travelling Woe is me, woe is me I lost my cookery book today I let the roast beef shrink away And my Yorkshire pudding didn't rise at all And my dumplings, though good looking Fell apart while they were cooking Woe is me, oh, woe is me The flap from my new tent My billy can is rather bent And my sleeping bag won't zip up anymore And the thought of that is damping My desire to go on camping Woe is me, woe is me And how is this then for a laugh? I've even lost the blooming draught That in the first place made me call out Shut that door Even Everard is slipping He's just lost a pound of dripping Oh Everard, where have you lost it? Get down to that police station and see if it's been handed in And send a fan of roach there while you're there Honestly Everard, you are the end You keep losing things all the while, you're worse than me Don't stand there looking in bomb Go ahead, get out and see if you can find it Oh dear, you wear me out Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do Shut that door as you go out Shut that door, shut that door, it's freezing cold in here. Shut that door, shut that door, I'm feeling rather queer. I haven't felt myself all day, cause I've been all alone. So come inside and shut that door and make yourself at home. I got laryngitis, my throat was very sore. Went to see my doctor, his wife answered the door. I whispered, it's the doctor, in my voice was very hoarse. Shut that door, shut that door, shut that door, it's freezing cold in here. Shut that door, shut that door, I'm feeling rather queer. I haven't felt myself all day, cause I've been all alone. So come inside and shut that door and make yourself at home. Well, I'm worn out, I wish I could lie down for a minute. The doctor, he came in and said my temperature was high. He said, now take off all your clothes, there's no need to be shy. I stood there wearing just a smile, the room was like a tent. Don't know where the draft came from, but I know where it went. Shut that door, shut that door, it's freezing cold in here. Shut that door, shut that door, I'm feeling rather queer. I haven't felt myself all day. 
'cause I've been all alone. So come inside and shut that door and make yourself at home. Just look at the look on this microphone here. Feeling ill the other night, I dreamt I went to heaven. Joined the queue at the pearly gates and stretched from there to Devon. Sir Peter called and hurry inside. I'm frozen to the core. Then realized there was book below and promptly shut that door. Shut that door, shut that door. It's freezing cold in here. Shut that door, shut that door. I'm feeling rather queer. I haven't felt myself all day. Oh dear, dear! I've got one of my funny turns put on this thing. Let's have a drop of brandy. Get me some brandy, and don't water it. Oh dear! All my legs gone to water. All my back's killing me again. Blossomed out since she's been on the pill. Apricot Lil, Apricot Lil. Some people think she is over the hill, but I know the score. 'Cause I've heard from the people next door that Apricot Lil, Apricot Lil is the fruitiest girl. The jam factory sweetheart who never stands still. Apricot Lil, Apricot Lil, she's always been active and she knows her drill. For down at the works, she does press ups and physical jerks. Yes, Apricot Lil, Apricot Lil is the fruitiest girl in town. Drink gin like the tide's coming in. She just opens her mouth and then pours the lot in. Then she'll dance round the floor for an hour or more. And when she collapses, the crowds cry encore. And she looks such a sight, 'cause her hot pants are ever so tight. That's a Bricot Lil, a Bricot Lil, the fruitiest girl. Tonight, just make sure you're not tight. She's giving a party that goes on all night. If she asks you to go, tell her you'll let her know. Then back away gracefully on your tiptoe. For if you drink her punch, we won't see you till well after lunch. And I'll come round the next day as you're carried away from the fruitiest gal in town. Oh, she does drink. She dips her bread in it. You know I suffer with my back, and my legs keep playing up. I get shooting pains right down this arm, and then they shoot back up. Don't think that I'm complaining when I sing this song to you, but it's nice to tell somebody of the things that I go through. <laughs> I get it here. I've had it there. In fact, I think I've had it nearly everywhere. I get it in the morning. I get it late at night. I don't know what comes over me. I go all limp and white, can't stand the strain. I know the pain, and I think it's starting up again. <laughs> I've had the flu, like people do. I've had the sniffles and my nose has turned bright blue. I've taken all the medicines, just like the doctor said. 
I've rubbed on so much ointment, I keep sliding out of bed. What can I do? I wish I knew. Oh, the agony that I go through. I feel a twitch. It's going to rain. I got the collie wobbles coming back again. They start off by your wishbone, and goodness only knows. It only takes an hour till it hits your parson's nose. I get it here. I've had it there. Now I'm sure I've had it every, positively every, definitely everywhere. And I've got it coming on again, I can tell you that. It's been agony this morning with my leg. I could hardly get out of bed. I said, put another poultice on it. It's no good. Oh, the agony of it all. Oh, what a gay day. Oh, dear, 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 didn't have a night last night. I went to Everard's birthday party, you know. Well, it happened like this, you see. I was sitting at home yesterday morning, just having a cup of tea. It was 11, as you see. I had a cup of tea and a, and a queen cake. And I saw this note being pushed under my door. I thought, it's never that vicar again from St Matthew's wanted me to join the choir. He's been after me for a long time to join the choir, you see, because I sing very high. It's because I had an accident years ago. I fell down, you see. Anyway, I opened the note and there it was. Everard's birthday party, an invitation card. I thought, it's never come round that quick again. I thought, well, I'll, I didn't really want to go, because I remember last year when I went, oh, what a disaster that was. I mean, everybody was there. Candlewick Kate, Once a Week Nora, Nonstick Nell. The place was crowded out with people, people I don't even know. I don't know where they come from. And yet when he's ill, nobody ever turns up. That's what makes me laugh. He was ill the other week, never had one get well card. But when it's his birthday, oh, yes, any function like that, they're all there. Swilling it back, swilling it back. I mean, sarsaparilla. The strongest drink he had there was some homemade cowslip wine. And, of course, the, the games they play. That's what kills me, you know. Everybody loves the games, passing the parcel. You know, where you all sit in a ring and pass the parcel. When the music stops, you open it. And it, it's so big when it starts. And, of course, at the end of it, always a pair of earrings or a brooch or something. Drives me mad. Well, the, the, the birthday cake. Of course, caused a terrible row. Slack Alice went mad. She said it was a bright bread pudding whitewashed. Ooh, there was ructions. Anyway, the, and the vicar's wife, because she always gets drunk, she brings her own in, you know. Oh, I've caught her at it. Yes, yeah, she keeps saying, I must leave the room for a moment. And every time she comes back, she's worse than when she went out. I, I went out, I followed her out once. I went to this little shed, and there it was. A bottle of scotch behind the thing, the waste bin. And the vicar said, I can't understand it. She's got one of her turns coming on again. He said, she goes all flushed and giddy. I thought, giddy, not half. She smelt like a brewery. Anyway, the vicar's wife got that drunk that she came in, because she's got such a big nose, you know. I would have felt sorry for her. It's such a big nose. And she came, she was rocking all over the place. I kept saying to her, move back a bit. Move back. Well, at the end, she fell forward and sliced the cake with her nose. Well, of course, the carry-on there. And then they all started singing and shouting. Well, of course, I had to leave, didn't I? I thought, I'm out of this lot. What a gay day. What a tight night. <laughs> I'm just a shop window lover, gigolo. My love's for sale, and I want the world to know. I'm just an escort for sentimental ladies whose charms have faded and left them long ago. Just while I may, gigolo, the night is waning, alone and friendless. At dawn I'll wake and find Gone is the glitter <laughs> How bitter The memories I've left behind Handsome gigolo Dressed up just for show What a wasted life I'm leading Dancing till the dawn, youth and future gone, love has passed me by unheeding. Just a soul for hire, to the highest buyer, cast off when they tire tomorrow. Love may come and may go, leaving handsome gigolo 
with a heart that breaks with sorrow. Handsome gigolo, I'm dressed up just for show. What a wasted life I've been leading. Dancing till the dawn, my youth and future gone. Love has passed me by unheeding. Just a soul for hire to the highest buyer. Cast off when they tire tomorrow. Love may come and may go, leaving handsome gigolo with a heart that breaks with sorrow. I know a girl, Slack Alice. She's been around for years. Rosebud lips and forty hips. That gives you some idea. She lives at Crystal Palace. She bottles pickles there. She really knows her onions. A girl beyond compare. Slack Alice. She's the one who lost her drawers at Crystal Palace. She loves football. Always takes a rattle. She's so sporty. She could tell the referee was being naughty. And only had half a penny's whistle. She said that referee's unfair and threw her knickers in the air. Well, that's Alice. Slag Alice. She's a raver. The Salvation Army tried but couldn't save her. And they don't give a measly, you know. Dropped her banner and was acting in a most peculiar manner. I don't know what she was trying to do with a big drum. She was shouting, "Do or die!" when they muffled her war cry. Poor old Alice, slack Alice. She's going steady, and after forty years, I think she's ready. She must be ninety if she's a day. Found a lover. A Coleman by the name of Charlie Glover, and he's no oil painting. When things are looking black, he still gets his nutty slack. Good old Alice, slack Alice. There'll be a wedding, and that's a day that I, for one, am dreading. I can see her now, white face, black neck. She looks shocking. When she tries to squeeze into that body stocking, she's a very big girl, and she'll wear her big red hat. And you know what they say about that? Well, that's Alice, slag Alice. Well, he'll know he's got her. I can tell you that. Oh, she does sweat. But still, there you are. He's taking it on so much that he's sorting himself out a bit himself. <laughs> There's a man lives down our street. I'd like you all to know. He grew a marrow for a local flower show. Now, when the story got around, they came from far and wide. And when they saw this marrow there, everybody cried. Oh, what a beauty! We've never seen one as big as that before. What a beauty! It must be three feet long or even more. It's such a lovely colour, so nice around and fat. They said we've never thought a marrow could grow as big as that. Oh, what a beauty! We've never seen one as big as that before. Leaning on the garden gate, just the other day, he beckoned to this lady who lives across the way. He took her down the garden path and he showed it her with pride. And when she saw the size of it, that dear old lady cried. Oh, what a beauty! 
I've never seen one as big as that before. Uh oh, what a beauty. It must be three feet long or even more. It's such a lovely colour, so nice around and fat. She said, I never thought a marrow could grow as big as that. Oh, what a beauty. I've never seen one as big as that before. Then the flower show was held and everybody went to see this marrow lying there inside this tent. Then the judges came around to hand the prizes out. They only took one look at it and they all began to shout. Oh, what a beauty! We've never seen one as big as that before. Oh, what a beauty! It must be three feet long or even more. It's such a lovely colour, so nice around the fat. They said we never thought a marrow could grow as big as that. Oh, what a beauty. We've never seen one as big as that before. Oh, no. Breath. We've never seen one as big as that before. tells me that you only want me for my good looks and my charm. You only take me and break my sweet heart and leave me with empty arms. Oh, am I just another pretty face or do you really love me? Oh, am I just another pretty face or do you really care? Before I let you kiss me, or we get too friendly, prove you love me for myself. I've got to know I'm not going to be just another notch on your belt. So am I just another pretty face? Don't say you love me. Though am I just another pretty face that your lips can't resist? I always wake up to find They love and leave me behind Without so much as a parting embrace up to find that they love and leave me behind without so much as a parting embrace Oh, do I mean the world to you or am I just another pretty Anyone listening, I love classical music. I was rummaging the other day through my trunk and I came across this piece of music. It really moves me and believe me, I take some moving. This will bring tears to your eyes and a lump to your throat. So hold on to your chairs. Have you heard the pom-pom song? It's a bright and breezy song. It's not too short, it's not too long. pom 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 if you learn to sing it right, it will fill you with delight. So sing it out with all your might. Pom piddly om pom, pom pom. What a lovely song. I'm crying already. I've never been so moved since I first heard in a monastery garden. Hey ho. Over on the continent, they all say that it's Trayvon. All those Frenchmen can't be wrong. Pom-tilly-om-pom, pom-pom. 
over in the USA. Everybody feels that way when the jukebox starts to play. Pom, tiddly on, pom, pom, pom. Go easy on the drum there, young man. You, I'm talking to you with a drummer there with a wig. Don't put those sticks in your mouth when I'm talking to you. Have you still got the ferrets? Good. The guards are on parade in their splendor all arrayed. You'll be sure to hear it played. Pom tiddly on pom pom pom. Every tuba player knows where the wind goes when he blows. Round the bend and then out it goes. Pom tiddly on pom pom pom. I say you there, you the trombone, you're playing far too loud, you know. I say haven't I seen before? Did I see on the M1 in that cafe only a couple of feet of sponge finger? I thought I did. He seems like a nice boy, doesn't he? <laughs> Down on old McDonald's farm, Bill the Bull was cool and calm. Then he bellowed with alarm. Pom tiddly on pom pom pom. All the cows began to moo. Cocks went cock a doodle doo. When the pom pom song came through, pom tiddly on pom pom pom. Oh dear, I think I've pom pom enough for today. I think I'll have a lie down now and have a brandy bowl. Oh no, I won't. I think I'll go home. You have got as faint as a robin. But I must get home now. Somebody's had my umbrella. I shouldn't think that trombone player's had it. He seemed such a nice boy, didn't he? Oh, well, I must find it. Now, where is it? Come on, now, step forward. Sorry about my umbrella. Come on, now, speak. I must find it. I should never get home. It's pouring in the rain outside. That's a very pretty tune you're playing, Dennis. A friend of mine wrote it for me, Larry. He even asked Bing Crosby and Frank Sinatra to record it. He'd like you to do it. He'd like me to do yes. it? Why, I'm overwhelmed, Dennis. I'm cock-a-hoop again. Have you got the words there? I have. Well, pass them over and stop looking as though you're embalmed. Oh, they look very good. Let's swing into the verse. Old Farmer Brown went to town one day, the sights of the city to see. He met a young widow, Strange to say, though madly in love with her that very day, and then to the lady's delight, he popped her the question outright. Who's stuffing your turkey this Christmas? Oh, tell me, I'd like to know now. Who's going to give you a Christmas kiss under your mistletoe bough? And who will be getting the present? From under your very own tree Who's stuffing your turkey this Christmas Darling, please let it be me Ladies, please listen most carefully And all you young gentlemen too When buying a turkey to take away On a Monday, a Tuesday or some other day it may be that someone quite shy may whisper these words with a sigh. Who's stuffing your turkey this Christmas? Oh, tell me, I'd like to know now. Who's going to give you a Christmas kiss under your mistletoe bough? And who will be getting the presents from under your very own tree? Who's stuffing your turkey this Christmas? Darling, please let it be me. Who's stuffing your turkey this Christmas? Oh, tell me, I'd like to know now. Who's going to give you a Christmas kiss under your mistletoe bough? And who will be getting the presents from under your very own tree? Who's stuffing your turkey this Christmas? Darling, please let it be me. Oh, it's absolutely splendid. I wonder if I can get no Cyril to back me. Or perhaps the uh, Macy de Molders or the Slade. Oh, they'll be very pleased down at the wool shop there about this. It'll make my Christmas. Oh, holly mistletoe. Fairy lights. Oh, what has happened to me? 
I'm the silliest one, I'm the son of a gun, and I'm riding on high. Oh, what has happened to me? I'm the silliest goose, I'm a happy papoose, and I'll tell you just why. Yes, I'll tell you just why. Ay, 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 ay. Sing when I'm talking, I dance when I'm walking, but oh, how lovely it feels. Cause I fell, I fell, I fell, head over heels in love. Can't sleep a wink, can't even think, miss about half of my meal. Cause I am, I am, I am, head over heels in love. Every night I am the moonliest one, the looniest one, no, I'm the juniest one. Love's made me the crooniest one. Spring has come out, oh, tra la la la. My heart is a flutter, I stammer and stutter, but oh, it only reveals that I am, I am, I am, head over heels in love. The juniest one, the love's made me the crooniest one. The spring has come, oh, tra la la la. My heart is a flutter, I stammer and start to, but oh, it all are 